All right, we are having a let's try of Angerfoot. I tried the demo. I think it was very interesting. Quite a while ago. There we go. Um, let me maybe first turn my... You can see my performance here. Um, this is kind of weird. You can see that my... FPS is really low and the game is super heavy in the menu uh, like just at the menu it's actually more heavy than the entire game well not but than the first levels in the game um, but other than that you know you have a good amount here you know you have different options there is a support for ultra wide screen I haven't tried it I don't know if I want if I would like this for this type of games, I haven't tried it. V-Sync, that's nice to turn that on off. You have something for latency. I'm going with latency and no V-Sync and 120 here just to see. You have a feel of view slider. I actually like this in a more narrow <coughs> in a more narrow feel of view, which is interesting. Um, generally I like it a bit higher, but this one I think it fits with a more narrow field of view. You can also have some nice that you can turn off chromatic and bloom and stuff like that. A bit of tweaking, I've turned down some settings here because I, this is a fast paced sh game with kind of simple graphics. I didn't feel it was bad. I can, I can run this at the highest here, but at least for the first part I feel like, but just to give it more headroom and just this is a game I want fluidity in and low input latency. Um, you have this one, might be something to tweak depending on how it's going. Also here you have many nice options for what you like for anti-aliasing. This is one of the heaviest obviously, this should be pretty good. This is just a blur filter almost and it's more of a trying to find the edges but it's very bit sharp should be a bit sharper and uh, very light way this is your probably your baseline mill ground anti-aliasing and this one are the more more heavy taxing see audio nice and it starts off at by 75 percent at least for me that's nice so you can oomph it up or down love that uh closure ranging you can have some tweaking here of the mouse sensitivity haven't felt any mouse mooting anything like that you can remap this is a very basic kind of game you know you have a kick shoot throw your gun or weapons apparently you have a separate interact here i think that if you can interact with something it could probably just been using the kick instead but i don't know maybe that it could be something that you know you have a choice so it's fine um shoe power i haven't i haven't I have only played a few couple of levels to make sure everything's working i also have a crash so we're gonna be interesting to see how this is gonna go uh jump quick restart of the level you're gonna need that <laughs> you're probably gonna need to restart a few quite a few times and then you have your move you cannot combine it support gamepad but you cannot combine gamepad with mouse and keyboard inputs which sucks ass which means you cannot have a well let me demonstrate this real quickly here i'm gonna be using my steam controller because i just feel that having this touchpad for like the gyro ratcheting function is very nice but th that also means that you cannot have a gamepad that has gyro like this one and you can use uh, your gamepad and your joystick for nice analog movement in conjunction in conjunction with a gyro that is emulating a, a mouse for the most badass precision and i don't think there's any gyro support built into the game that i can see about and um, which just means that you're gonna have to either not use your gyro controller with x input emulation which is pretty much emulating the right joystick which is gonna be bad or you're gonna have to just use mouse and keyboard which means you're gonna lose analog movement to me that's not a huge problem but i think that's a bad decision to make there's no reason to have forced 
keyboard or force gamepad and if you mix them mix them together it the game will just constantly freeze and unfreeze like very like super jittery jittery like you can see that the game is switching from gamepad to mouse and keypad mode and this like goes your movement so that's a shitty thing for a game like this uh, or games in general there's no reason for it and uh, yeah it's just sad to see that we cannot utilize gyro controls in a better way at least with mouse emulation and even if games don't support it natively and this game is perfect this is, has a limited kind of inputs it's a very f perfect good thing for gyro aiming to have so yeah that's the deal other than that uh, i hope this turns off all aim aim assist but hey i haven't verified because i can't mix and match so my controller here the steam controller you know it is only keyboard mouse so it's this shouldn't be affecting anything but turn all aim assist down they don't need that with the gyro controller and you have remapping here also which is definitely nice assist mode here is nice easier enemy easy bosses blah 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 that's cool stuff to have camera shake that's nice and camera recall i like to turn that off have flashing lights on for now it didn't I, it hasn't been like crazy a lot of flashing on screen so i think that's nice or the throw weapons means that you you will just toss your weapon immediately as it's empty might be good to have but hey um timer mode i probably don't need it for how i'm gonna play it but that's fine ammo counter you have a no ammo or you can have a smaller or a default i think it's good to have um i probably don't need this one we can keep it on but i probably don't need it this is definitely nice glow and sparkle that's cool star of the show green uh let's do that cross our hit markers Lots of options to tweak, but let's get into the game and let's turn off my camera so you can see the performance. Because I can't really check the performance when I'm playing, but you're gonna see here that the performance here is maxing my system out and I'm not barely hitting 60 frames per second. Um, we're gonna do delete. Oh, that was loud. go gyro on and now i'm hitting 90 frames so now right now the game is cpu limited right here because you can see in my top left my my rtx 3070 is not maxed out it's only running at 60 percent gpu utilization but i'm still not getting 120 frames locked that is the frame cap and you can see that uh, you know my rtx 5600x is being hammered which is kind of weird um it shouldn't be cpu limited in like this way and it's kind of weird because like i uh, turning this one up or down is not going to affect it the only thing that might be affecting is this so you might be able to go for smoothest frame rate yeah that makes a ton of difference So I gained around 20 frames, it looks like almost, with turning off low latency, which is kind of weird, but hey, you know what, I want frames, I want smoothness, I think I'm gonna try it without that, it still feels very responsive, but I'm still not getting a locked, it seems like this frame rate cap actually isn't 100%, it's never locking at a fixed 120 to me it always seems to be locking a little bit lower i don't know if that is because they want vrr support or something or what was going on but the frame rate cap unfortunately is not perfect if we turn on vsync instead now you get the 120 frames locked so there's something very interesting going on with all of this um but yeah there's not a lot of thing that you can really do to help 
with CPU performance, right? Because this is mostly GPU thing. This should be uh, CPU related in many ways could be, especially decals and casings. Um, but like there, there shouldn't be anything hammering my CPU here, but it seems to be utilizing pretty much all of my threads here. So highly multi-threaded. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I think VSync here, when I'm getting locked 120 frames here, it, the VSync isn't really a big problem and I like the smoothness. Let's go with this and let's get into the game. I just wanted to showcase a little bit here the performance. So when I'm in the game playing, you're going to have to keep an eye on... I'm turning off my camera for a few levels here, and then I might swap back in. But yeah, you're going to have to keep an eye on the performance if you're interested for, by that. Uh, because I can't really check that when I'm <laughs> when I'm playing. This is a very fast-paced, hectic one. And it starts off with definitely a quirky story here, you know. Again, movements are very basic. You have a jump, you have a shoot, you have a throw, kick, you have a throw. You're going to have some kind of feet power up later on. And that's pretty much it. Moving and aiming around. <clears throat> and this is my controller layout, as you can see. Gyro is on. I have re... re uh, what, what do you call it? Restart the stage. A quick restart of the stage. Bound to the Y key. This is the left joystick to move. The right trackpad is, uh, you know, as a mouse to do clicks left and right. And clicking it is going to be the my use key. Right <coughs> trigger is going to be fire. And right button is going to be throw my weapon or item. And then we have the left trigger is kick because you kick a lot. So I felt I needed that a good solid key for or button for that so i think the right trigger the left trigger is going to work good for that then we have the back left button is going to be activate the ability of my shoes and the right back key is jumping very basic but yeah you can see here uh, highest texture details with obs running i'm hitting about slightly above six gigabyte vram so an 8 gigabyte VRAM in 1440p and running this in window mode or 120 frames should be good enough. And if you're gonna run maybe like and hear the music there starting up, that's cool. That's meaning the action is about to happen. So you know 4440p, 8 gig graphic card, a graphics card with 8 gig VRAM should probably be fine and 1080p you're probably fine with a 6 gigabyte. Maybe even 6 gigabyte for 1440p depending if you're not having like a lot of application other than eating up VRAM because OBS is using at least 500 megabytes of VRAM. So, all right, I I tweak my <laughs> settings. There is no way for you to open the door except for kicking them. <laughs> but yeah, it runs good so far in these indoor settings here. You're supposed to be fast, so... I'm not doing a good job here. But yeah, on my RTX 3070 Ryzen 5 600X, it runs good in the indoor settings and I can crank like the graphic settings up a little bit, but I, I for safety headrooms I've turned them down a little bit.
But it said things. City. Oh, oh, right. And never has there been a worse pit of crime and degeneracy. In this town, everyone is in a gang. There's only one rule in Shit City. Crime is the law. The city is run by the four biggest gangs. The Violence Gang. Muggers and Thieves. The Pollution Gang. The filthiest thugs in town. The Business Gang. Hustlers and corporate fraudsters. And the Debauchery Gang. The unholiest of hedonists. All these goons answer to the Crime Minister. All but one. It is definitely a quirky, quick story, but it fits the style here. I like it. I'm trying to think of one thing, though. Crosshair Dot. I don't understand what that would do. Crosshair Dot. I wanted to change this uh, rectangle to just be to be like a little dot, but it seems to be a crosshair no matter what I do here. Oh, it's just the middle one there. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. If we do that, no, that removes it. Yeah. I would have loved if I could make the crosser just be a dot. Uh, maybe a crosser when you have... Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Right, I, uh, that's, uh, that's a weird one. Alright. Back to it. And again, you can see here, I'm. it's struggling to get good frames here. And... Hard to know why. It's not my GPU, I could again bump settings up, I could add more anti-aliasing. I could add this GPU effects up. Uh, but something is just hammering my CPU, so it's hard to get 120 frames. Here we get 120 frames smooth. And you turn this way and it just shanks down. This is weird and it's not good.
yeah, very quirky, but you know, it fits <laughs> the style and everything. <laughs> I like this kind of simple but uh, effective kind of cartoonish style here. You have different goals to um, get more out of the levels. Yeah, let me remove this, doesn't seem to do anything. Not a little effect there of the blurring of the... <laughs> of the private area. I need to warm up this early in the morning here, so... Hurry! Oh, that was terrible of me. Oh, not doing good here, aiming-wise. level felt pretty smooth and good um, and obviously you can uh, run through this again only using your like feet and uh, like that and apparently I didn't even get 10 headshots that's unfortunate <laughs> Quite high GPU uses for this map, and especially for the main menu. I don't know why the main menu is the most taxing in the game. You will get your HP back uh, if you, you know, take a short breather. Obviously the goal is to be super fast, I'm not doing the best job at it, that's fine. You don't have to be super fast uh, to, you know, get through this game, which I think is a nice, a little bit of an extra. Yeah. Oof, okay, I was way too slow feel very off my aiming game today, but that's fine. Thank you. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. You die very quick, but that's fine. Your goal is just to get pretty much quickly out, out of the level, or if you want to do some extra stuff. <clears throat> like, take no damage, speedrun... <laughs> so, you know, you're supposed to want to, like, do the levels again and again and again. I think the... Let's do one more levels with the performance, then I can turn it off and just... Let's just play. But you should get maybe a base idea of what the performance could be, hopefully. There's definitely gonna be areas that are gonna be less demanding, and then gonna be areas that are gonna be more demanding. As you can see, outdoors seems to just tax the frames like crazy. There's a lot of environmental things that you can, uh, like barrels you can kick and stuff like that. It's really nice, but yeah, you should get an idea for the performance. So let's turn that one off for now. Yeah, it is really fun with the gyro controllers and everything. Uh, let me double check something here. Yeah, there we go. Weird stuff there. <laughs> And again, complete with only your feet, uh, without anything exploding. There's lots of little extra things you can do here for replayability and for you to want to get better at the game. I've seen people mention the length being quite a big range, from 4 to 8 hours for like the base thing, so <laughs> I guess... It's gonna all come down to how much stuff you're gonna do. If the game's gonna be closer to 4 hours or closer to 8 or plus, and depending on how much you wanna... <clears throat> how much you wanna replay. Ah, so this is just... Like, you have extra quirky store and stuff like that. Uh, You don't have to do this. There we go. Can we get a new weapon?
there you could see me hanging back. Um, get a little bit of the HP back. You can take maybe three hits, four, maybe something like that, I don't know. But hanging back gives you, you know, slowly it's gonna get, get you regenerated. I think that works good for this game. Because you're gonna lose... Like, this game is gonna be all about when I replaying, optimizing the level, like, the paths you take and stuff like that. So it's fine. Because the first time you can hang back, you can take it slower, and then you can come back more aggressive when you kind of figure the level layout out. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they, they can really take you out fast. That's fine. It fits. It fits with the game. Oh, there we go. Oh wow, okay. Huh, why did I die that? I didn't think I took so much hits uh, on that level. Uh, I could feel a frame dropping there. Oh my god, that was terrible of me.
Oh, there we go. Can feel the frames dropping in that area also. Oh, this is really laggy. What? Hello? <laughs> okay, we can go here. Did I not make it? That's interesting. Wait, what? Where am I going? The, that's the gun. Let me see something. Accessibility. Can we do... do, 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 do. Yes. Blah blah complete without killing a enemy. <laughs> Kill an enemy by kicking a grenade, alright. Okay, don't know exactly why I died by Okay. Wow, that is some um, splash damage. Yeesh. Pretty good, easy timing to get to kick the grenades. I like that. It's not too crazy. Okay. This is weird. Sometimes I feel like I'm getting one shot and one... Sometimes I feel I can take... Like I feel I can take more, more than one shot here.
There we go. Kill 18 goons with headshot. <laughs> or completed without shooting anyone. <laughs> There's no timer, so I'm guessing this is just some extra lore thing you can have here. a little bit of an extra stage there now the timer is going Ooh. right I'm definitely off my... Definitely off my aiming game. <laughs> Not doing uh, good aiming wise here today, but... Uh. Oh, there you have it. All right. Apparently picked up a gun with no ammo. So, let's see one thing. I'm curious about one thing. Yeah, exactly. They, they did the same like me. Kick to the C trigger. And shoot to the right trigger. Because I, I definitely feel that for gamepad that is the way to do it. <laughs>
definitely lagged again there. The frame rate is definitely not uh, it's not a good solid baseline. With this graphical art style and with the gameplay, I wish it was easier for me to get you know a just fixed 120 frames. Uh, it seems that most likely it is my CPU. I I can't. I don't feel it's my G my GPU. It doesn't seem like that. So yeah, I guess you need a beefy CPU to get 120 frames. Hopefully, if you just want to play this in like 1080p 60 frames, it's not too crazy. But if they could optimize the CPU usage, that would have been amazing. Damn, okay, I guess I hit the explosion straight into my... Into myself. Jeez! Okay, didn't explode this time, that's... Sparkly gun? No? There we go. Um, thank you for that. are really not good uh, oh 
Oh, I died in the last room. I'm trying to bring up the performance overlay here because it feels very stuttery. Hmm. Unfortunately. Complete the level in 5 seconds. Complete the level in 1 minute leaving no survivors. <laughs> Hmm. Can I not? I guess not. Well, you... yeah. uh, where am I going? I just wanted to verify the performance and uh, it dropped down all the way to 60 frames per second there uh, and it's mostly the CPU is just getting hammered and uh, that's unfortunate. Because, like, again, there's no, there's not a lot of things. Like, this is GPU. Uh, higher, like, resolution is mostly GPU here. I have this on that is all ready for VSync, and this should also be GPU and leaving the CPU a little bit more headroom, right? Like that. This should be GPU stuff. This should be. Mostly GPU stuff. Lightning could be CPU, but this, I guess it this that it could be that is uh, like is CPU. I don't think it's that that's causing it. Right, that was weird, I got stuck there. <laughs> oh, ho, ho.
Oh. Okay. Run the level in 30, 30 seconds. <laughs> so obviously I'm taking a little bit slower. And uh, I think it's nice to showcase that you don't have to be super fast to get through this game. You can still have fun. Oh wow, that frame rate. Holy frame rate. Oh wow. Oh. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, performance is uh, really, really bad. Hmm. Let me, I'm gonna keep that one on here. We're gonna stop soon. Let's, let's try here. That is all, that is all my CPU getting hammered, like th this little pause menu with the background. My GPU is around 75% here, 70, 75, but my frames are only 60, 60, 67. Holy crap. What? <laughs> hmm. Ah. 
Uh, yeah. Like, I can probably do this. I can probably do... Oh my god, yeah. Performance is about the same. Yeah, I, I've cranked everything, but it's not my GPU. Like, everything's cranked. But my frames are the same, so it's... It's not my GPU, it is the CPU here. Like, this is on... I must say, this is pretty GPU taxing. Uh, but still, let me... Go this one off for you guys. This is bad. 60 frames here. There's not, nothing really going on on the scene. Like 8 times MSAA and all the settings cranked up. It's not my VRAM. I'm running under 7 GB of VRAM with OBS recording and everything. But I'm not even getting 60 frames. Holy smoke. It actually makes this game more more challenging. All of these frame dip, dips and that, it's really not good. I don't like this sheep guy that can kind of just snipe me.
Uh-oh. This way. Oof. Well, that's a good, good pausing point, I guess. <laughs> Thirteen levels. There we go. Completed in about an hour. I think they said. That read somewhere about 60 levels so you know six hour if you go at this pace probably very pretty you know accurate obviously you can go replay more and stuff like that i'm gonna do another video here start the series to see how it goes um can i there we go right um yeah, so it is fun, but you gotta be into this kind of... There we go, so weird that this menu is super heavy. Uh, there we go. Yeah, uh, probably need to do... Oh, okay. Yeah, so... The good first. Like, the graphic style, the cheesy kind of... And an optional story in many ways. I think you can even skip the cutscenes in the beginning. Uh, very fitting, very clean, sharp graphic style that really fits the style, the vibe. The music might be something that annoys something. Um, I wouldn't say this is my top music, but it fits kind of like weird. Oof, oof. You know, the hype vibe that you need to oomph yourself. The kind of more going fast, going more aggressive it, it fits that and the bad thing always gonna be the performance like it seems to be very cpu heavy having very severe dips in uh, like performance just yes, due to some especially the open the open scenes are crazy heavy on on your like GPU or not GPU on your CPU for some reason I'm not sure what it is like there's no clear things like again this is just stuff that are all of this is just GPU pretty much right this should be CPU but it didn't seem to be a big difference um, again I can I can run like this going forward but i don't think that's gonna make a difference it could be ambient occlusion occlusion sure there might be some cpu hog but this should also be gpu so i have no idea how to tweak this game for or better cpu performance and uh, then another thing that might be be a little bit of negatives that obviously that the first time you're running through the games it's it's very easy to get sniped and that might be something that is not fun to some people that you have to like I I do have to really have super super fast crazy reflex or you're just gonna be dying sometimes because you don't know what's coming uh, and that's part of the charm with this type of games in a way and sometimes it might not be and also I feel that it's a little bit inconsistent knowing maybe this could benefit from having like a three hit point system like do you know if you can take one hit or if you can take like three hits or something like because it's it, it's a bit difficult just with the vignetting out on the screen edge sometimes to tell if I'm gonna die instant um, that's that's the other one but other than that, it is a very solid, good game here. 
And the biggest thing definitely holding this one back is the performance. Because you need really for this game, I want it to be spike. Like if it's log 60, okay, not good, but it, I can work with that. But if it is, uh, you know, log 120, that's awesome. Or if you might even want higher if you have a high refresh monitor. But uh, there's no way for me to tweak it. It's just, it doesn't seem like the settings are doing that of a difference because what is affecting the CPU here and what is affecting the GPU because again if looking here like this is a GPU thing especially these ones uh, field, of G is, field of view is mostly a GPU, GPU thing but this is the default increasing it you know is gonna make more things visible on screen and that can be more taxing for the CPU but this is pretty good shouldn't be that crazy or anything this is the default one so if you crank it up I can see the CPU being a little bit more taxed again this is this I can get is more CPU heavy because it's just gonna try to send frames fastest and not letting the GPU kind of buffer or anything like that but I'm running the, this with the least GPU heavy here or oh, least CPU heavy here you know um, this cap this instance isn't active since I'm using vSync um, again I'm not using this but this should be again mostly GPU things and I'm not using them anyways this should definitely only be GPU a VRAM thing mostly um, this could be some CPU instances for sure guess I could try to play this on the low settings to see how that's gonna look <laughs> uh, this could definitely also be CPU, but I don't think it's gonna be that. Uh, you know, I could try run this like this. So stay tuned for these settings for the next video coming up to see if that's gonna help with performance or not. But yeah, you can leave a like, a comment, check back, you know, follow the channel if you wanna see me play more of this game or other stuff. And there we go. If nothing else, this is it for this video. So again, thanks for watching. Have a great day and bye for now.